So, <laughs> so if I burp and I'm speaking, like, I don't know. I feel like you could read out the word. Like, if I'm talking and I'm like, <laughs> how's it going? Oh, no, I, then I finished the sentence. It's more like, going. I don't well, know. I feel like you you could pin... I'll can't put, you like put together what I was trying no, to say? No, it doesn't cut out the burp. That's the issue. It, yeah, keep the burps. Keep no, all the burps. So I'm, push, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna push back against Misha on this too, because this is Misha's YouTube side coming out. Okay. Where Misha will re-record everything okay. all the time because I'll Misha leave has the burps. I'm just like, no, I don't know. That no. feels kind of gross. <laughs> I do understand where you're okay, saying. Now I don't want to do it anymore. Okay, if I do it, you tell me. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Comment below. Uh, keeping the burps or you, leaving the burps. Do you want to hear? We'll run a Patreon poll. <laughs> oh shit! We have those. We have those roasts we could do. We, uh, by the way, Patreons uh, definitely send more roasts. I don't know yeah, where yeah. we're at, but I might make another sending us roast Patreons. And if you're first hearing about this, we want you to roast us, the Bark Bark Meowcast, just for fun. Yeah. Welcome everybody to the Bark Bark Meowcast. Bark. Hello, Bark. Uh, <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> wow. I tried to burp, but wow. I can't do it on command. <laughs> Fucking really. I don't have the gun thing in this channel. Ha uh ha! -huh. You don't have the gun thing in this channel? Oh. We're not in the other one. Yeah, but should we actually go gonna... to my server? Because we get better audio that way. Oh, we do. Sure. sure. Let's head over okay. there. Yeah. Uh, over. Misha, have you noticed better audio? <laughs> not on my... <laughs> Sorry. Not on my end, no. <laughs> See, you did it too. <laughs> no, I, I, that was a cough. Oh, uh, I just I didn't hear anything because they cut it out. But hi, let's move. No, what's what's crazy is like I don't have a cough until I start doing this or until I start streaming. I don't know what the fuck that's about, <laughs> but like I don't know if it's an anxiety thing. I don't I don't know it's what's like up with that. It's like, it's Dude, like that's like that. Tick. That's like how how uh, that thing that kept coming up every week only came up while we were oh recording, God, yeah. even when we switched oh days. My God, I, like I was like, "What the fuck? Why is this following me here?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, let's let's skedaddle. Let's slide on over. Okay, now that he's gone, <laughs> now let's let's talk <laughs> shit about him real quick. <laughs> oh, Boo. Man, you, know, you notice that the cafe just suddenly smells so much better. Oh, you know what? I did notice that. Oh, Ruby, is that pine? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, canonically, Ruby does smell of pine. Oh, hell yeah. I hate you guys so we're much. We're on our way. We're on our way. I hate you guys <laughs> we're so going. We're, we're on going. our way. We're going. Which one right, is we'll see you over there. That was great. <laughs> Where did he go? Wait, which one are we going to? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, okay. It's your name God. didn't no. show. Your name didn't show up right away. And oh, we were like, like I the swear to God, go? you guys don't come over this time. I'm gonna be like, damn, good prank. I lose. That'll we make some. That'll make some good fool, content. Fool you. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Shame on you. Or uh, the vice versa. Actually, Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> Where are you? So how's everyone doing this week? Keep uh -oh. the burps. Oh, my, oh, that's right. We have keep, those. <laughs> hashtag keep the burps. <laughs> So how's everyone uh, doing this week? Oh, yeah, good. Let's do a little update. Uh, oh, really quick. Uh, I think we should get better doing this. What are we talking about this episode before we share our week? I put it you know, in. I thought there's, there's quite a bit of furry Twitter drama. Yeah. And I kind of want to talk about that because that's kind of how this channel started. Yeah. <laughs> that really is. We, we got to get back to our roots. We've definitely got to, like, we went from the, like, you know, let's talk about furry drama stuff to the... Just talking about daily shit or whatever we want to. Well, we we did start to get like expand um, politically, and a lot of that had to do with Twitter. Elon Musk fucking God, fucking up Twitter. Me losing my life. I mean, uh, Twitter. <laughs> That's actually really That's sad still... to say. I know. <laughs> Look, they got you. I, buddy. I lost a lot. I lost a lot. It's almost been a year. Oh my God, it has. Wow. Well... Yeah, I guess. Because it was oh, like it, November. Because it was, I thought it was before. Uh, I thought my band happened. Was it before or during the start of Bark Broke Meow? We were recording when you checked for your appeal. So it would have been June. Yeah, so sometime in June. We're, we're getting there because this is, we're God. approaching, we're in the third week of uh, May now. Well, not quite. Tomorrow is the third week of May. God. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to do some Twitter drama stuff. Uh, do, do you guys? I could talk about how I'm doing. I'm 
right before a really busy week, and I kind of don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's see. I am. Oh, go ahead. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's, it's uh, same. I'm just trying to stay out of reality. That'd be great. Yeah. You know, I've got VR chat. We could hang out. I. All the worlds. I could go into VR chat. To be fair, I have it downloaded and I've Drew. never booted it up. Could do a VR chat episode. We could. Um, but uh, and we, we'll just find. I, I I know there's worlds where you can just sit down. And we'll just sit and have the cameras facing us. And yeah, uh, I have a whole thing. I'm doing well. I just learned something that is so fucking cool. And I already messaged. The, I messaged the, the the group chat <laughs> today about it. What was it? You did? Uh, oh yeah. I, so I've actually been thinking, like, it's been over two months now, well over two months now without a single day off. I work, uh, you know, and anything last weekend, I you know, for Mother's Day, I picked up a shift. So I worked yeah. even more than normal. And uh, it's getting to me. It's getting to me. And I was like, man, I could really use a fucking day off. I was like, when do I get enough PTO to cover a day off aside from what I need for Anthrocon? And I got the, 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 bi-weekly the every two weeks me email uh normally we do a meeting on monday i should have had a meeting today but we didn't because uh the boss was out for their own pto okay. and um we got an email today and it showed office closed the 27th for memorial day it's like office is closed i'm like wait the office is closed does that also mean remote positions are closed for the day and i, I messaged my boss i'm like hey so uh this is office closed. Does that also mean like it's a that's one of our paid holidays? And they're like, "Yep, should be." I was like, oh. "Hell So yeah. I get a day off next Monday, a week from today. I get a full day off, and it's fucking paid, and I'm so excited. I am Hell like, yeah, dude, over myself on that. Like, holy shit, I am, I can't. I don't even know. I already messaged one friend and said, "What are you doing for that day?" So I can like <laughs> put together like some streams, but. Ooh. Like, I'm going to definitely stream that night, and I'm probably going to get drunk. Hell yeah. Or actually, sorry, I'm going to probably get drunk Sunday night because I, I don't have to say. fucking do shit Monday. Yeah. And I'm going to, I'm definitely, like, as much as I need to do stuff, I think I'm going to make it a completely just fuck off day. Relax Hell yeah. day. yeah. Sounds like so, you Well, other it, than man. fucking recording. Yeah, we still got to, we still got to record, but, like, other than that. Because I thought of the same thing. I was like, oh, man, I don't have shit to do. Oh, I do have Bark Bark Meow, but other than that, but that's like an hour. Shit. <laughs> that's like an hour, and it can be a fun hour. Like, we could, like, drink and have a good time. You want to stream or something? <laughs> we could stream or something. I don't yeah. fucking know. Oh, man. It puts my little little fingers together. <laughs> that's what I was doing. You don't see it. Yeah, I'm, like, I can feel it. you doing it. Yeah, I can yeah, feel yeah. it. That's why I was trying to do the voice. Um, But yeah, that's that's the <laughs> wow voice. Ooh. Those motherfuckers. With the council reunites, Razor. I hate that the mods BB can see us in here. That's why Mado <laughs> always says like he's gonna like, uh, like he threatens. Like, he threatens is is that what is that what they're saying? The council reunites. Yeah, because <laughs> we're not always in here when we record. That's you know a thing. <laughs> Gary, you know because we have to exactly <laughs> Gary. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know. You guys want to say anything else, or do we want to get into the the, the drama? I can't stream this week because, well, oh, it'll already be right. past this week because today was pretty easy. I was I was done pretty early today. But, like, tomorrow I have quartet rehearsal and then I have full orchestra rehearsal. And then Wednesday I have a rehearsal for somebody's senior recital and then full orchestra rehearsal again. And then Thursday I have full orchestra rehearsal again and sound check and then the performance that night and then friday i don't have much going on but like dude i'm so i'm so not ready for this week i'm gonna be so busy <laughs> and then on top of that i gotta move like lessons around and shit and people aren't i'm sorry misha that sounds uh, it's, stressful it's it's part of the gig but hey in like three weeks i'll be done with it all so that's i'm graduating it's i'm not like, and, like myself happy paw day i guess happy paw day pause i say i guess because i'm kicking myself because i i didn't make any content to post today like a fool oh actually i do want to say something that you just reminded me so i think this is this is coming out friday right i mean it'll be a little bit removed but i know a lot of people 
a lot of people, junior high, high school, and college graduated over the weekend and or graduating this coming weekend. So from my my heart to all y'all out there, if you're listening and you're graduating, congratulations, you fucking did it. Welcome to summer. Oh, yes. Congratulations. Absolutely. All graduates. People still even just completing another year of school. Yeah. Education is so important. Congratulations on your higher education. Yeah. I meant to make a fucking TikTok yesterday congratulating the, any of the followers or people that see it, you know? I'm going to do that tonight, but... Hey. Andy is graduating, <gasps> but he doesn't want to walk, so we're gonna. I'm going to make him do it on his year four, but he's graduating his, his year two. He's getting his associates. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, nice. That's a start. Yeah, for real. Oh, Rizzle. Why did I say that? Snoop Dogg in the house. <laughs> All right, uh, two minute ban for ah. you. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oh, oh, you were serious. Oh, what the fuck? No way, he was ready. You. This is my domain. <laughs> uh, technically, it is. <laughs> Shit. All right. Hold Ruby Unite, attack! Ah! So, gamers, I just hit the microphone. Hopefully that doesn't get picked up. But so, gamers, mm. we got some topics today. And they're furry related. Lay on me. Kind of. And they're Twitter related. Also kind of. So, have you guys heard of Anthpo? Uh, Anthpo? Anthpo, I guess is Anth- their name. No, haven't, haven't heard of Anthpo. Anthpo. Okay. Okay. Once I start talking about it, you may recognize what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, I actually they, love the topics where like we don't know and you and one of you us can explain it to the others because I kind of feel like our listeners. Yeah. So Anthpo the- or, or Anthony Poe is a YouTuber who oh. did a video recently that had a bit of a controversy. Oh um, it was basically the point of the video was he went undercover quote unquote as a furry for the past i think it was like 200 days and basically just like recorded like the interactions and stuff he had and everything and for the most part it seemed like it was a pretty lighthearted video there was one big portion of it though where he recorded some things at some more adult parties let's say Oh, I do, I do no. want to throw this in there. He did have permission to record. I don't, okay. know if he had, I don't know if they knew what the recordings were for or that, like, you know, it was for a YouTube video, but he did have permission to record at those parties. Okay. Wait, wait now I have to ask this because this is a big thing. Having a permission to record a party, were the attendees alerted that recording would be there because that's a whole different matter? I'm almost certain they would have been. Okay. But that's... I don't know. <clears throat> and so people were quick to How point out, How adult like, was this party? Apparently the parties were adult. However, the portions that he recorded, the most he recorded was, like, people cuddling. It was also very blurred out. Okay. Um, good, 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 good. He also eventually went on to remove those parts of the videos uh, because somebody reached out that was in one of the recordings and was like, hey, please don't use this. So he took it down amidst a bunch of other people being like hey this fucking sucks don't do this and he issued an apology today um saying that he wanted to clear up misconceptions from the furry video he removed two minutes from the video after speaking to one of the people involved and they asked to be removed they did not want the situation to become a huge deal for their sake i'm trying to avoid more damage than i've already done i did not film audio or visual of anything sexual just cuddling i am not here to defend myself just wanted to clarify All audio was remade. I guess there was audio over those portions. Recording was mentioned beforehand. A phone was visibly set up in the hotel room, and then afterwards everything was heavily blurred or remade entirely. I had spoken to lawyers and checks were done by YouTube. That being said, this does not excuse what I did as anything less than horrible. I'm disappointed in myself, and I am so sorry to those uh, specifically involved and those who feel betrayed. For those criticizing me for perpetuating stereotypes amongst the furry community i want to apologize and emphasize that wasn't my goal in any capacity like i said the rest of the video seemed pretty light-hearted so um i j- i greatly appreciate those of you who reached out with genuine concern i turned the video into a fundraiser for the trevor project and okay i like that he made it a gay today. thing i don't think he should have included that portion in the video 
whether or not he wanted to be too lighthearted or not. Like, you know, we all know it happens, you know, we all know that happens at cons. But if normies, like, that's the wrong word. If, like, anti furries see muggles. that. I like muggles. 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 If, like, muggles. if anti furries see that, they're just, they're going to cling on to only that portion of the video and be like, oh, they're deviants, they're freaks, like, they're degenerates. Like, they're going to ignore everything else that, like, could have been lighthearted yeah. or good about the video. So I think he was right to take that part out. It also sounds like he was genuinely, like, apologetic here. Like, I, I think this is, like, you know, ukulele is at the very bottom and some oh, good yeah. apology is on top. This is, like, more towards the top. I would put it in the... <clears throat> if the, the, the middle is, like, a very average apology, kind of very cookie-cutter... You're, you're, you're kind of disappointed because of how cookie cutter it is. And then at the top is good. I would put that in between those these two. I yeah. would say it seems like they were there was genuine uh, reflection and understanding of what was wrong. And it looks like there was genuine like listening to the complaints as to why. So I can uh, actually compare this to like my Anthony Padilla video. I remember after filming, I was like, man, I hope I wasn't too cringe. And he shrugs and he's like, I mean... It is cringe. That's kind of like, that's why people are going to watch this. And I was like, I know you're right. It's just one of those things. Like people making content about furries, they're doing it because it's fucking like insane that we do this for fun. Yeah. It, it's so normalized for us Plus that when we take in carpets, <laughs> that, right. That when we take one step away from furry, we're reminded how batshit this shit that we do for fun on the daily or the regular is like actually to other people yeah and how when somebody says so do you really like like wearing those things when somebody asks us that how that is just the absolute tip of the iceberg like right. not only do we like wearing them we yes we do fucking them <laughs> <laughs> uh reminder that the bark bark meow podcast is intended for 18 plus audience <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 this is this is an adult podcast uh, it's it is uh suggested that you have parental Guidance if you were no, to watch this. Oh no, you. I don't want you and your parents to watch this together. If, say, you're, I, if you're 18, get the fuck out of here. No, if you're going to, the parents, that's your that's your problem. <laughs> that's, just, that's what I'm saying, because we have parents that watch this. <laughs> oh god. You just know what you're getting into. But yeah, anyway. I think that like it sounded like he didn't genuinely intend to like harm the community with the video. Mm. Which I hope is what was going on. And I also agree where it's like what Ruby was saying, where it's like it was made because, you know, it's going to be kind of cringe to people on the outside. But that's not, you know, weird isn't a bad thing necessarily. Exactly. Like Andy actually just showed me a video. It's another interview. Uh -huh. uh, it ironically has Dopio in it. And no, no, oh, no. dude, is it the fucking, What's his... it's the all and... gas, no breaks. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. It's that interview. I know and exactly that guy that. said a lot on Twitter. He's like, furries are great. This was a really healthy experience. I loved this. He obviously paid to go to the event because he was in the dances and stuff. Uh -huh. But yeah. he is making fun of the community. No, because the train wreck the, the train wreck of the, the one one person <laughs> in that episode uh or in that video. Is, right. Is Actually too, now that Dopio got called yeah. out. But yeah, like Wait, Dopio was, requires context. Who was but the first that one? was the point. He even said he even said I don't know who the person is. They were just <laughs> uh it's, oh, it was it's, Nazir. Like the It's it's a lot. The guy but, who uh had uh sexual assault victims and then posted their personas faces on trophies okay. and posted oh. it to Twitter. But no, uh I know that with all gas, no breaks, he even state like straight out said this video. I edited this and had this made to be as cringe as fuck because that's why like Dopio's Dopio's, you know, obviously with context is a problem, but outside of context, his thing still looks, it's so fucking cringe, but it's cut. It's, it, it's a very cut up interview and it's meant to do that to be cringe. He even right. said, and I know Dopio was slightly upset at, at seeing it the first time because he was like, wow, this is not wh how I thought the interview was going to go, which also kind of goes with this. And this is why I said, raise my hand. Cause I want to interrupt. There's a, there's no way there wasn't a, a, an inkling in this person's mind that filming that was in head in his head. Like this is going to get views. This is going to be controversial. I don't think it was like a negative thing per se. It was like, I just, you know, it's cringe. It's going to get watched yeah. because of this. But that's why I also turn around and say I think it's a, a good thing that 
he listened as well and it and you know made changes yeah so i think furries need to be able to laugh at themselves more than uh i think we're pretty good at it uh but and i also think there's a valid criticism in we like we can laugh at ourselves but when you guys do it it's shitty i think that's also valid Mm. like if i make fun of furries other furries are like (laughs) Ha <laughs> fuck yeah, that is the same, bitch. But <laughs> then if a random YouTuber does it, everyone's like, boo. Yeah. Well, it's, one of those things, like, you're not a, it's one of those things where, like, if you're not a part of the community and you're doing it out of maliciousness or, like, to be vindictive or something, yeah, that's a problem, right? And that's another thing is, like, I think you should be able to laugh at yourself to an extent. You don't want to become self-deprecating either. That's true. I yeah. love furry. I and I'll be the first to say that uh self like self hating furries I, I that act, that shit actually pisses me off especially yeah, artists flag. in the community if you don't want to be here don't you be can here. leave you yeah. can stop being and, furry dude, at any time after seeing like after seeing <laughs> FWA like there were so many furries online that were like well this is why I don't associate with the community and it's like dude fuck off then yeah it sounds, <laughs> like, it sounds like you need to go hide in your little corner of fucking yeah. enjoy the star fucking wars Jesus internet man. i guess i i i, I, I make this comment i i make this comment a lot uh and it's and honestly it would fix i think it would fix a lot of uh other issues and like the whole poodling and mersuiting issue or quote unquote issues is the concept of what it means to be furry is directly related to what you want out of furry if it, it and this is this goes with any hobby and i say this if you're if if, if something that you liked liked past tense has become a detriment to you now it is now causing you stress anxieties or other issues take a step back take a break or yeah. even fucking leave that hobby behind because people change you will change throughout your life and there's going to be like furry is going to go in and out of your life to be less or more depending and and that goes with furry is like again a you're a furry only if you want to call yourself a furry b you can start off with just liking art. Maybe you're just really into the anthropomorphic characters in movies. So you're like, yeah, I'm a furry. Uh, maybe you just really like the creativity, the family, the fursuits, the family, the fandom. Uh, <laughs> Yo, Freudian slip, dog. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a furry is family, and I'm incredibly <laughs> deeply involved in the fandom. Ow. <laughs> but, you know, and you can be as deep as, like, getting a fursuit, going to cons all the time, being a content creator or whatever, what have you. That's up to you. But that's the whole thing again. It comes it all circles back to like, look, if you self, if you're like self hating, this is a this this means you need to start questioning: Is this something you even need to be a part of? Like, that's a problem. Don't let it be a problem. You don't have to let it be a problem. If you fucking hate it, stop. <laughs> that's the thing. It's like, yeah, please your, stop, man. If you like punching yourself in the face for a little bit, hey, cool. Um, but the second you stop, you should probably stop. <laughs> man, I keep hitting myself in the face and I hate it. Ugh. This is awful. I'm miserable. Jesus, you just don't do that yeah. anymore. <clears throat> just go f- do something else. Shit. Life is short. Stop hating it. Go do something that you like and enjoy. You're allowed to fall out of love with things that you used to like. You're also allowed to fall back in love. Take a break. Move oh. on. Like, I'm- do it all, man. I just want you to live a happy life. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, fuck, fuck me. Jeez, just go be happy. Get out of here. Get out of here, here, you big dumb animal. Get the fuck out of here. All right, yeah, so I actually, uh, Misha, I want you to send me that that video because I kind of want to see it because I haven't seen it. I haven't, I didn't actually watch it, full disclaimer. Mm. Well, I'm going to watch it and I'm going to have comments for the afterburn. Yeah, it was called I Spent 200 Days Undercover as a Furry. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to do it. I'm going to look. I'm going to watch. And, like, I agree that, obviously, they had the thought of, this is going to cook. Like, this is going to get views. They had that in the back of their mind. So did Anthony Padilla. So did Curtis Exactly. And, like, you know, big creators making videos about furries isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's And you can do that. You You can absolutely clown on the fandom and also do it, like... In good like, taste. In good taste. Absolutely. In with no malicious intent. I loved I'm, the Curtis Connor video, and like, I need to watch dude, that, he I he like he made a lot of jokes towards furries, but like none of them ever none of them ever felt like like kicking low or like low hanging fruit. Like they were like they were a, funny jokes. Like, or not like like judgmental. Like there's yeah. like a a judging side to the joke. That's like good. A, yeah. 
Mm. Even even if they do, my argument with with that is even if somebody is just like, dude, there's fucking animal people around us right now. This shit is insane. I think <laughs> furries also like, yeah, dude, it is insane. This is it insane, is. you guys. <laughs> yes. Well, it's it's one of the most unique things out there uh, unto itself, really. Because, like, again, when we talk about fandoms, the furry fandom doesn't have a direct center point, whereas usually, like, Comic-Con, some comic got it. And you, you fell in love with something, and you were directly loving that IP anime. Yeah. Same thing. We're all uh, here because of some different furry. Cars. Thing. There was a certain car make model that you fell in love with. Uh, our car movie got you into wanting to mod your car to be a straight racer. You know, there's always like a more direct point. Uh, now furries can look at something and be like, well, this made me a furry, but, and then that's like, there's like subcultures, like the people are like, I know, I, you know, I'm shocked. Why don't furries do more? Like, yo, I fell in love with the fandom because I watched Robin Hood. Let's do a Robin Hood watch party at a con. Why don't furries oh, do they, that? They absolutely do. Did you say FWA? They like displayed Robin Hood on a big projector in the main. Yeah, lot. yeah, oh. and that was like not a uh, part of the convention. Some dude was doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they brought a big that. projector and was I... like hand cranking it. It was awesome, dude. The, the I hand... haven't. Wait, wait, wait. Hand cranking the projector. That's what I saw. I saw like an old school projector. Oh wow! Wait, no way! I didn't know that. That's what I saw. I was committed. No, I was committed. Say, like. They fucking, they have bluey watch oh, parties hang on. at. I think I hear. Uh, I think you hear the dogs. Okay, okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Right, let's the break. This is the intermission. You guys can keep talking. I was yeah, gonna say, are we shit talking. Oh, we're, we're, no, we're not. We're, we're gonna keep talking. But. Okay. Um, I was gonna say something though, and I lost it. Do I put the it's broom great. on the screen? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I'll put the broom on the screen. Do the flip. Do the flippy flop. The flippy floppy. The flippy flopper. Um, so we were talking about the furry fandom and... Making videos uh, about furry, Robin Hood watch parties, subcultures. <sighs> ah. Oh, I was going to say, like, it's, it's totally valid. So a lot of... And this goes with hate in general. A lot of hate is either the lack of knowledge or misinformation. That's a lot of hate for anything comes from that. It comes to religions, race, hobbies, the fandom, you know, stuff like that. It's a lot of people are just being willfully ignorant, blissfully ignorant, just completely, uh, utterly misinformed propagandas and lack of knowledge of something. So that scares them or they just don't want, you know, and they don't like what they saw or they're confused at what they saw. Right. Yeah. Because it, it can be very understanding of like, why would you think you know, dressing up as a, a big fluffy animal is okay. And to do it in public, too. Like, that could, yeah, I could see why people would be like scared by it or thinking they're weird. People have just the general fear of like uh, concealed identities, like clowns. They hate clowns as much as they hate furries because of it, you know? Yeah. And that's why, you know, people are like, man, it's another YouTuber doing a video on furries. He, as long as it comes from a, want to experience and to gain knowledge that's an awesome thing yeah because that's just again putting out another piece of media where hopefully those blissfully ignorant or willfully ignorant people have to deal with like uh curtis connor i know i feel like that audience would be some of those people that might have had a negative view on furry and you know, that's an assumption by me and i'm bad but I have a feeling that, that there's a definitely a, a portion of the audience that had a negative view of furry because of the lack of knowledge, misinformation, or, again, willful or blissful ignorance. And him doing that allows for, hopefully, a gaining of knowledge and a qualming of those fears and hate. Yeah, that's why I like the Curtis Connor videos. Yeah, he was, like, taking a few jabs at furries, but, like, cool. it did never feel overly negative, and it just felt like, silly little one-line jokes and the video overall was still pretty informative towards furries mm -hmm. and like light-hearted and like you said you know i'm fine if bigger youtubers make videos about furries not that i'm like the furry police but like i'm fine right. if bigger youtubers make yeah, videos about furries 
Like, but no, I, I but mean, it's, it's, like, it's, it's not not being like furry police at that point again, because I'm saying the same thing. Yeah, we've had the instances where bigger creators have made furry videos and it was, was going to say because that there punching was the... down causes their communities to punch down as well and yeah. has caused unnecessary hate and possibly violence towards furries because of it. Yeah, because who was that? Who was that douchebag YouTuber that that spiral guy? We talked about it on the Glitzy oh, Fox yeah. when Glitzy Fox yeah. was on. Remember when um, we... Yeah. God, who was that? I can't remember his name, which is probably for the better, but yeah. that was an example of someone going to cons just to start shit and, you know... I was so down to protect that dude from the first con in- in- incident because it seemed like he was so genuinely, like, I'm a furry, come f- don't fuck with me kind of, like, attitude, which yeah. is, like, a- an okay attitude to have because, like... You shouldn't take shit from nobody. And that's what that gave me. And then every con there was an incident. And then he went out of his way to go to that fucking one person's place specifically to get shit on as a furry and like cause problems. Yeah. Nah. At yeah, that point, dude. it was literally fucking clout, clout, clout. Oh, and that I'm glad that that suit got sold. And I'm glad that that person's not around no more. Oh, wait. No, I, I actually have some tea about that. Oh. So. Uh, his girlfriend the entire time, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. kept her suit and was making like OnlyFans content, which is fine. I don't have fine. a problem with that. He got a new suit recently. Oh fuck that dude then. Yeah. So everyone's already making connections because again, same girlfriend. It's, so like, yeah. yeah, he's back. And the only thing in his bio is not a furry. And it's like, dude, you're you're a fucking loser, uh, man. Like. What gets me uh, is like, a, or, yeah, there the were people out, like man. defending him when I was talking about him and they were like, oh, well, you know, he's got like a life threatening heart condition that he needs help with and he's got to go fund me and everything. And suddenly he's just perfectly OK and has a new suit, you know, yeah, just nah, uh, that's called like dodging on your dodging your responsibilities. Yeah, like obviously grain of salt dodging. on that one. I don't know the specifics of it but like a little suspicious wait is he making content uh he made an instagram reel and then if anybody like left any hate comments or talked about it he got a bunch of like bot follows on their accounts and got some of them taken down oh dude yeah all all i'm gonna say is just dude needs to stay in his lane i don't care if you're not a furry but you still want to ghost cons or you still want to go do shit that's fine don't try to do what you just did again yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's going to be a, it's definition of insanity. It'll just cause to bite him in the ass again anyways. But mm-hmm. but yeah, just, it's just, oh, and that's the I'm... thing is that's what it really comes down to all, all, all the circles back to. We need more positive media. And since the 2010s, we've gotten a ton more positive media, both commercial and indie like YouTubers and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to help spread just like the community is just about doing your own thing and, and enjoying it in your own way. And, and that's, I think helped a lot. Well, so it was, it was one of those, one of those things where it helped a lot in the public perception until furry became the punching or it became the pseudo community to attack when it came to trans and the queer community from the alt right. So that has, we've definitely taken step backs in the last handful of years. Well, one, the, uh... Uh, the all right is going to attack furry no matter what, and they're also going to attack the trans community no matter what. Oh, shit. I got rid of. And two, for a there is there is an unspoken Wait, like. One second, what, Nisha? I, I I was I got rid of Broomby because Ruby was back, and I went to bring Ruby back, and then I accidentally exiled you for a second. Oh, I see. I, oh, I should have. Uh, I should have. Uh, uh, I should have like taken screen. myself out of the oh, equation, to make it easier. Sorry. God, it wasn't sharing screen because I shared screen in the old thing. Yeah, no, that's fine. Anyway, I'm Ruby, just, like, go on. Listen. Sorry. Uh, there is this unspoken thing that people like forget about, which is because of the fandom's hypersexual aspect, we kind of are unmarketable to giant corporations, and that's a good thing. Hell no, yeah. Good... 
Like Tony the Tiger tried to, to, to <laughs> dip his toes in. And okay, got, that's a bit of a negative so example. If we're being, no, no. That's a bit Can of a I negative example. You, capitalism. <laughs> that's a bit of a negative example. If we're being no, honest. I think it's a good example. Tony the Just Tiger was here before. Well, not before we were, but like before. Don't Curry fuck, was mainstream. Don't fucking don't fucking at me, capitalists. Because remember, Tony the Tiger's not a real person. That was a corporation trying to relate to the kids. That's fair. I, uh, he was I, marketing to furries, and we we annihilated him by literally fucking him. No, we didn't <laughs> annihilate him. He annihilated us. What do you mean? No, nah, that asshole's annihilated. I saw the art. Well, Tony, oh no, I mean, <laughs> I mean, literally, yeah. But no, I think Tony Tiger is like the one time where it's, it shows exactly what can be done. They just didn't interact, and it kind of died out because of it. <laughs> I mean, he blocks. He actively blocks for yeah, yeah, the Tony blocks. the Tiger account. But then you've got like, you know what was funny, and I wonder what happened. And this is a complete tangent, but it's still related. Is you, you know, like the MSI Dragon, and like oh, a yeah, bunch of that. little random companies kind of did their own little fursona thing for a little while, and then it's died off. Good, get out of here. I think it's funny. Ooh, capitalism. Like, what actually happened? I wonder if it just like, oh, we 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 poked the furries, and now we're done for a little bit. Oh, Fucking no. Twitter did that too. Twitter was like, "Don't change, do not anthropomorphize the bird," and we're like, "Hold my beer." <laughs> well, it's just like when Musk was like, "Don't call it Twitter." It's like, "Shut the fuck up. We're gonna do what we want." I went, I went to. <laughs> Oh no! I went to. This is so fucking morbid. I went to look if I was blocked by uh Tony the Tiger. Okay, I googled Tony the Tiger on Twitter, and the first result is. Free Tony the Tiger at Free Tony Tiger. We mourn the loss of our beloved tiger friend Tony and will continue to fight for captive tigers in this horror. The oh, first result no. was a fucking captive tiger named oh, Tony no. that passed away no. in 2017. Okay, well, I hate this now. And I am Thanks. Not, I'm not blocked by them, so that's that's pretty neat. But like, I was no. just like, dude, why is you this really the a, first result? Does it mean are you really a furry? <laughs> If you're not blocked by Tony the Tiger. <laughs> so. I, I don't think I'm right. blocked by Tony the Tiger. I can't. Everybody I can't in this find chat, go check and see if you're blocked by Tony Everybody, the Tiger. Uh, challenge, go get blocked mm -hmm. by Tony the Tiger. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I'm blocked from Twitter. I mean, did they have to make Tony the Tiger so ripped? Like, come on. That's the thing. Some yeah. of those fucking marketing characters. <laughs> like, you want furries? This is how you get furries. This is how, yeah. You get furry. <laughs> Like, Lola Bunny was not an accident. Oh, no, not at all. Lola Bunny was crafted that way. No, and there's a correlation to, like, the making... scene when Nala is staring over. lovingly up at Simba, she's thinking about boning. Yeah. And whoever animated her was also thinking about boning. So, that was because in kids' movies, you have to put in adult things that adults will realize, but not the kids. But then, then there's the special adults like us, where they're like, hey... It's not the, <laughs> those eyes are looking at me. It's more like, no, see, they didn't, yeah, they didn't need to frame it that way. They, <laughs> they made her look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at all you guys who fucking look at Scar like that. Yeah, all, all you Kovu fuckers out there. Hey, hey, I'm down with the Kovu fuckers, but Scar, I don't get it. I get it, I get it. Everybody's got a hot gay uncle. I get it. <laughs> but he's a he's a douchebag and he's not cool. Look, I can change he's, him. He's like, <laughs> Look, I can dude, change him. the sentence. Red flag. Red flag. <laughs> the fucking sentence. Now listen to teacher and be prepared. Like oh, that okay. alone just swoons me. Misha man. is actually cooking right yeah, now. Dude. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> You're All right. right. This, about this, ten percent of Scar's character. This point goes to Misha for Let's sure. <laughs> So I was kind uh, of playing devil's advocate there against Solus, but I actually I have now switched sides and agree with Misha. <laughs> Damn. So I was doing uh, All right. I, was, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to make a video on this week because um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I had mm -hmm. fucking nothing. And Argo sends me a link. Oh, and it is Bluey event brings children to tears oh. and angers parents. Fucker, that wasn't even a segue. That was such a hard cut to this. I don't new even topic. care. We, we're damn. at forty-one minutes. We we gotta we gotta we gotta get we gotta chugging. We gotta get schmoving. 
So, uh, fucking, if you remember the Willy Wonka thing from a month, a few months ago, this is like kind of in tune with that minus the AI. I and think so, it's a mixture. It is kind of a mixture. I don't think they ever actually used AI though. I don't think they used AI. Um, and they're not. They're definitely different in this situations by by like looking at the context. Because on the on the outside, yes. So a, a business. A restaurant promoted a bluey day or bluey yeah like a bluey day for kids and uh you come to this that's restaurant and you get hot dogs and you, so there's supposed to be games and events so and stuff so huh? I, I have the article pulled up yeah well i want to fucking <laughs> not read it why <laughs> why nerd this is my topic fine you can't just hijack my topic but now i feel tell them me should tell them all <laughs> So you're right. Like a lot, it was a restaurant in Las Vegas called Dirt Dog. Um, I guess it's a popular chain in that area in Las Vegas and Los Angeles. Ugh. And bless you, they hosted an event that <laughs> was promised as a bluey meet and greet. <laughs> so, so I love that we're just gonna skip right over that. <laughs> yeah. I'm leaving it in. You guys told me to. <laughs> yeah. Oh damn! Do it again. And so I can't burp on command. <laughs> well, um, no, that was a threat. That was the dude again. You, oh, and you, you okay? Know. All right, continue. And so, like, they posted a big thing that was like, "Celebrate Bluey with us!" Marathon all of the Bluey episodes, which I'm pretty sure, like, is a very a fucking lot, long power. time. <laughs> Meeting with Bluey and friends, face painting games, and special Bluey treats. So very this sounds cute. like a very cute, very cute event. Uh, it mm -hmm. garnered roughly 3,000 responses, and apparently thousands more showed up. So, like, this was way bigger than I thought when I was, like, going to look into this for a video. I thought it was, like, a local yeah. neighborhood got a little pissed off. No, this was thousands of people. Well, so that's, that's the I think the restaurant expected a couple, less than 100, maybe up to 100, maybe a couple hundred at most people to show up to do this thing. It was yeah. supposed to be advertisement, it was supposed to be good, but they didn't expect it to become a bluey fucking mini meetup, con or like meetup slash mini convention. Yeah, this is, like, this is a thousands con of at that people point. showed up to a single location restaurant. <laughs> it's not how many people, how many people do we think were furries there? Oh, Just like dude. people without all kids. That, Even people all didn't know they were furries. Uh oh. Yeah, Ruby was I heard a little... robot. Okay, it's not just me this time. No, that was definitely Ruby. Ruby so, was a robot cat. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read the next parts word for word. Uh, this is from a site called Ten Play, by the way. Sources the, are down below. <laughs> source, if uh Gary remembers, sources are down below. Wow. Uh, the activities. You don't credit your sources, Gary. I forget for He's stuff like this. Yeah. Oh man! Oh Whoa, Ruby. man, Ruby, you're a fucking robot. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, Your Gary was good though. Okay, now we can hear you. Gary. <laughs> so there, yeah, yeah, just, just, just put that <laughs> instead of me talking. <laughs> The activities were not as promised, and parents made multiple complaints about the costumes, face painting, and treats. A male employee was dressed as the beloved Aussie puppy character, and children were upset at seeing this version of Bluey. The employee appeared to be dressed in a Bluey onesie. <laughs> Talking to Fox yeah, 5, one of the children at the event, Sophia, said that she could see his beard. <laughs> So oh, this no! is like, it was no, just no. a dude in a bluey onesie. Yeah, I was gonna say. So them saying dress up is such a like uh, an over like it not an over exaggeration, but it's an exaggeration almost because dude was just wearing a onesie, no <laughs> face mask, no face head, no nothing like that. So it wasn't like, and that's why like yeah, in the article, come come on or in the advertisement it was like come on down and meet like bluey and the family. Yeah. It was like me and, and it's just and one friends. dude in a fucking onesie that didn't even have his face <laughs> covered. Uh, I'd cry. I'd Hi cry. Guys, I'm Bluey. Oh no, absolutely. That's like <laughs> hearing your she favorite. She can see Bluey's beer. <laughs> That's like going to see like the uh, Spider Man or the Power Rangers, and it's just a dude <laughs> wearing uh, one of the masks you can buy from like the doll. Did anyone else's parents tell him that like it wasn't the real Santa Claus, but that dude reported to Santa Claus? So be on your best oh, behavior. Oh yeah, absolutely. It no, was, he's Santa's helpers. That's yes. a smart way to lie about it, though. If your kid starts uh -huh. asking questions, well, how does? Yeah, how no, does I know. We were like, there's Santa's. Santa's. I was like, how the fuck can Santa be in every mall everywhere, Mom? And S Mom was like, oh, that's it's not really Santa. But that's one of Santa's helpers, and this dude reports directly to Santa. 
So just tell him your little wish. We'll get our fucking photo and be on your best behavior. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why I'm Santa Paws every year, is I'm one of Santa's helpers. Aww, aww, mm-hmm. everybody, is there an aww fucking button? No, not yet. Damn. I am sorry. All right, that that's was not, not the right one. <laughs> that's not the one. That's you click that one every episode. Voice. That was a Look. blunder, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> yes, I deserve that. Yeah, so... <laughs> Some kids were crying. This is a quote. Some kids were crying. Some kids were upset, crying in their parents' shoulders. How could you do that to little kids? Advertise something so fun and eventful for kids ranging from toddlers to six, seven years old, and 27-year-old furries, and not actually follow through with it. (laughs) It was a very upsetting moment to see so many kids and 27-year-old furries, especially my daughter, just really upset. And just, she's so right about that. Obviously, I added the furry part, but like... This that's where it like feels the most like the Willy Wonka thing where it was like come one come all come see Willy so, McDuff and come meet Bowie and friends. So actually, realistically, if you think about it like this, if there was like a projection set up where you could actually watch Bluey and you could hang out at this hot dog restaurant or whatever the hell it is, and and hang out, eat and watch Bluey, the twenty seven year old furries would just see it as a meetup and be fucking cool with it. Yeah. But somehow I think they still kind of failed that too. They didn't I feel like they weren't marathoning it either. Yeah. Um I, I, they basically they they basically from my knowledge and what I re- I I watched the the Charlie the Moist Critical video on it. It was just they promised everything and almost delivered on nothing. Yeah. Other than I think there might have been a little bit of deal on the food. I don't even know if that was true. I did scroll down a little bit and Solace you were right. It says here we expected like maybe 50 to 60 people. Not in the sense of the, like, the whole city coming out. Just now, knowing who Bluey is, we would have planned ahead and had more, and would have had security. <laughs> so their response, and the, the Moist Critical video, I think, put it in, that he, like, watched them talk about a little bit. Okay. Uh, like, I, I don't know if it was a staff, it was definitely staff, I don't know, I don't know if it was the owner or not, but they even said, they're like, had we known what this was gonna be, and they even said, like, we, we did fuck up, that we, we, we should have provided a quality experience for the community and we just we we really failed here and they did that was the coolest thing is like the people involved with it admitted that it was a fuck up that they did not provide the quality and standard that they should have for the community and uh they just didn't realize what they were getting into and that's why like to me it was it's like it's the exact it was a failure like the willy wonka event but it's the flip side where it was just underplanned, undervalued, un- misunderstood, and they all owned up to it. And personally, I would love to see this restaurant actually pay several thousands of dollars to get a cast in there, bring in a nice area, and do the that would be more over. than several, that would be more than several thousands of dollars. But I'm thinking if they could get this, you know, that same response, I mean, you'd still make a profit on it, and also it would be a cool ass event. And you everybody could have, like, a redeeming factor, too. Just ask the friggin' furries that dress like Bluey, Bingo, and... Yeah, fly them out. D- the dad, whose name is Bandit. How the fuck did I forget yeah. the dad's name? <laughs> that, I think that's the funniest thing about the Where's video. The Where's the bonk? Where the fuck is the bonk? <laughs> like, the coconut bonk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I still haven't watched an episode of Bluey, by the way. It's good. I need to. It'll make Ow. you cry. Even Great, you, fun. as a grown adult, it will make you cry. Good. I never um, thought a cartoon oh. character, like, looking at the camera and saying you're doing great would make me just, like, oh, break down. Oh, I got goosebumps down. from that. But damn, that I got goosebumps. Dude, Wait. it hit like a truck, man. I was like, I'm doing my best. <laughs> that was like when fucking uh, Steve from Blue's Clues did his little thing a couple of years ago when he was talking about, like, being proud of us and seeing how far we grew up. Oh, oh yeah, he did that post video. that. That was that one was a that that was I didn't I didn't even watch that much Blue's Clues, but just coming from that guy and everything yeah. was like wow wow why is it so impactful? But yeah, the, I think the funniest thing that came out of the uh, the situation is that there was like an Australian like news station that covered actually quite a few that covered it. Oh and really? There's just like a there's like a uh, one of the hosts of uh, it, was, it was either a podcast or was a news station. I thought it was a news station. 
No, it had to have been a podcast. One of the co-hosts was literally talking about how she would have, she would fuck the dad bandit. Oh, and, oh, and ha- oh, fuck, we lost Ruby. I do remember and, that now. And how and how she had actually masturbated to him, dude. Yeah, no. In, in my head, people, I'm like, people oh, listening to this, furry. she you did furry. not hold back. You Sol- furry. Solace is not like exaggerating. If anything, Solace is oh. watering it down a bit. Like she fucking. Oh, she, she was very. Off. She owned it. She fucking <clears throat> owned it. She was like, dude, he's such a fucking awesome dad i'd do anything to this man it's like is awesome uh, literally a- absolutely well, the the last thing i heard was uh she'd fuck bandit and then i disconnected it was incredible <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you died <laughs> and that's how say. i fucking died but yeah those were the two topics there's a there's a third like small topic i could talk about somebody made like a really edgy comic and like has just just got fucking ratioed by the entirety of furry and just Wait, not the entire. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I've yeah, seen yeah, yeah, yeah. it. It's especially if it's like a Twitter thing. Oh, it's a Twitter thing. So I'm gonna send you the comic. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Oh my god! I'm I just not gonna scared include... myself. Holy fucking shit! Oh no! How did I just do that? <laughs> what did you do? I just scared the shit out of myself. Literally myself. I uh, I had a notification. I hate notifications on my phone. And a uh, 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 TikTok thing popped up saying somebody commented on one of my TikToks. So I clicked it, and it I forget that that takes you straight to that specific TikTok, and it auto plays. Oh no! And I opened with a howl at almost all of my TikToks. <laughs> I heard the howl, and because I'm wearing my headset, it felt like it was like a siren or something right outside my door, and it just oh, scared God. shit out of me. Wow! Oh boy! I hate myself now. Okay, so I'm not <laughs> going to include this person's name because they've privated their account, they've deleted the comic, they've but like this comic is just uh it, it just it just it's like that Wait. that picture of the guy like petting the dog and he's it? like, "Oh, who's an edgy boy?" It? I haven't sent it yet. It's like the comic of the guy petting the dog and it's like, "Oh, who's an edgy boy? Who's an edgy boy?" This is this react. is that comic. Let me so, react. I will. I will. I'm getting there. So, it should be you like must- on the screen right now and there's like a someone for spotify listeners there's like a insert insert misha's aurora board (laughs) there's like (laughs) there's like a speech bubble coming off the screen and it says hey you asshole you bullying someone else what if i started to bully you so you'd know how it feels and the guy sitting there replying it's like a red and gray wolf thing and he says first no reason to scream i ain't deaf second i used to be bullied at school until like uh oh, we lost Ruby again. This is, this is a clusterfuck. Yes. <laughs> Second, I uh-huh. I used to be bullied at school, so I chose not to be a victim anymore. And finally, you're a bitch. Whoa. So you'd better you'd better so you better to choose your next words carefully. And the speech bubble off the screen says, "And what if I don't, you bigot son of a bitch?" And bigot spelled wrong. And he's he's holding a pencil now, looking at the screen. Hi, Ruby. He's holding a pencil now, looking at the screen, and it says, "Then I'm gonna treat you like I treated my bully at school, and I'll stab you with a pencil until someone forces me to stop." And yes, oh, this guy, I did this that guy. before John Wick made it popular. Your call, bitch. And it's just like, that is so who's cringe. an edgy boy? Yeah, it's just like, oh, oh. oh and I hate this. I hate, like okay, out of context, not knowing who this person is. I all immediately have to say, like, incel no bitches behavior. Oh, I know of another comic of his, and yeah. And, and and very alt-right, because, again, it starts off with somebody calling him a, like, hey, you're an ass, like, hey, you asshole, you bullying someone else. That, and, and he doesn't deny it. Not only does he not deny it, he's like, I'm going to defend my bullying by fighting you back. <laughs> okay, he, he so, literally says, first, and, no, like... <laughs> Well, oh, and you are no. off to quite the start. Wait, okay, wait. First, no need to scream. Yeah, yeah he, like, he I doesn't used, deny it. <laughs> and then second, I used to be. Yeah, that's not in him denying it's, it. That's him saying no, not to scream. That's he what says, I'm saying. Like first, no. Like the like first off. That's that's I I already cringed when we st- oh, when he st- first oh, off. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm like first, oh my god. Like when it's gonna be that kind of monologue. Yeah, like, exactly. First, first off, no. yeah. That's no like need when I, to scream. I ain't deaf. When I when I see oh. comments that like end with "I'll wait" or like <laughs> stuff like that, it's like, oh, yeah, this guy exactly. is not well, in good is, faith. This is the this is the alt right larping that they do, man. Yeah, it's it the, really is. It's like 
you wouldn't actually front up and fight somebody. This is you in your head. This is when you go to bed thinking, man, I wish somebody would shoot up the movie theater so I could stop it kind of shit. Yeah. <laughs> there was a there was a like, comment there was a comment because somebody posted the screenshot of this comic and like him deleting it and everything. And one of the comments was like, It's a shame this tweet is gone. The shower bottle or the shampoo bottles in his shower loved this one. <laughs> And it's like, do you think he was like rehearsing this to himself before he drew it? Like, and well, right. Well, and then you gotta think about like dialogue, right? Because the third panel throws so much to me about who this person is. Oh, yeah. He has the opposite person who's already like obviously trying to defend somebody from being bullied. Yeah. He's calling them a bigot. Bigot was Which out means of this person's been called a bigot before because why would you ever use an alternative dialogue? Uh, or why wouldn't you use an alternative dialogue other than that if somebody hasn't already called you a bigot? Also, yeah. the fact that you're you are so terminally online that you respond to somebody's text message that's in all caps with "Don't shout." <laughs> like, don't there's this a- dissonance. <laughs> There's this dissonance between like how are okay, so you're admitting that this is online because of the all text thing and yeah. with the all caps, but you're still gonna quote unquote stab me with your pencil. Oh, but remember, he did it before John Wick. Come on, here's the thing. <laughs> I, this this does make me I think everything in this is true. I think he bullies people. I think oh, yeah. he's a bigot, and that's why he's getting backflash, because I think he's a bigot. I think he's he must be anti- trans or something queer or something so i think he's been called a bigot before i think people have told him to shut the fuck up because he's a shit person and i think all of this is real i think at school he may have actually gotten kicked out of school or suspended for probably stabbing a kid with a pencil probably not over and over until somebody stopped him because if you stab somebody with a pencil over and over either the pencil breaks or you do kill somebody so no no i don't think so i think this guy's way too much of a pussy to actually do something like that i think he might have like swung at somebody or like poked them and it barely no, I think he thought like, about oh, how cool he'd be them. if he no, did it. I think he stabbed he's... somebody with a pencil. I don't think he did a whole lot of damage with it. I'm not going to give him that. I think he's I a fucking loser. Uh, well, yeah, we that that's a stab. <laughs> like I think he I... like I think he like grazed somebody with the pencil and he's like, "Oh yeah, I stabbed that kid. I stabbed him so many times they had to pull me away to stop." And like, in reality, he like the bully fronted up and like to defend himself, he like stabbed the bully in the arm with it and the bully's like, "Fuck, that hurt." And then ran away. Yeah, but like long story Which short, even like defend oh, yourself again, defend yourself. But like, there's a lot to unpack from this that is not good. Yeah, long story short, this, this is guy... incredible. This is an art piece. This is a this is a this, this is, is an art piece. Level. This is not just an art piece. This <laughs> yeah. is a this not is like a psychological movie. deep dive. Yeah. Also, but... like if we're dissecting this the way we are, the colors of the wolf. Oh, oh my god, red and black. <laughs> the, like, like, like the skull dog. It's like yeah. a skull dog. Dude. Yeah. So, skull dog uh, pattering. pattering. He mentions in the comic that he was bullied as a kid. So, somebody, the person that like posted the screenshot was like, Bro was bullied as a kid, grew up to be a bully, then got bullied so hard again. He went private, de- deleted the tweet, and lost most of his followers. Holy Apparently, this fucking... guy was at like 200 and something followers. Uh, he's down to 26, apparently. Last that on somebody what? checked. On Twitter. Oh, wow. This guy lost hundreds of followers for this shit. Well, <laughs> he's got good art if he drew this, That's I gotta say. Bad. I'd say it's not the worst art I've seen. It's not just, You know what? Just keep drawing, man. Don't go all well, right. Just well, keep drawing. It, it, uh, here's the thing. I, you know, he needs to learn. He, he's already all right. He's got to unlearn some shit first. But yeah. you know what this comic, te- <laughs> comic teaches me? What, is what, bullying what works. does it teach you, Solus? <laughs> bullying works. Because that no, bitch. No, no, no. no. He, he was a bully. <laughs> so he did, the, he did the one thing where he became the bully <laughs> to bully other people and then got bullied out of being a bully because he's he, a bitch. I, Solis, Amisha, I think you guys are giving him too much credit. I th- have you seen that scene in, in the Meet the Robinsons when he when he's like, hey, Goob, you want to come to my house? Hey, Goob, I like your binder. They Everyone all hated, hated me. me. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's. I don't think there was a real bully, you guys. <laughs> oh I mean, man, nice you, art. They all hated me. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I mean, <laughs> I think it actually is going on. Wait, here. so Misha, this is why I have to ask Misha. Can you send me? I need to see this. I I need to see this account. I can try. Like I said, he's privated the account, so like you oh, can't see it no, anyway. Oh, it's private. Oh my god, his name. I okay. Editing Gary cut this. 
boop, we're back in the episode like nothing ever happened. Nothing got cut. We've had a lot of those. Uh, yeah, the pa- Patreon got to see um, Patreon got to see a few of them. And if you'd like to read. see them too, what? My TikTok comment that jump scared me. Thank you. And the first furry wants to say that I'm a, I'm incredible. I never thought a furry in the community was going to say that I'm incredible because I'm still new to this community. What the fuck? <laughs> Just like stitch his comment and be like i didn't make this video for you you suck get out of here get out of my mention no, i just like it i always like it it's part of the algorithm you know comments dude it's cool honestly creators liking comments make some people like really happy because like uh-huh. uh on tiktok it shows up as a heart and i've had mm-hmm. people like reply again and they're like oh my god you liked my comment oh that means mm-hmm. so much and i'm like oh someone said yep, i sound like pgh l films Wow. Okay, I can I can speak I can fucking speak from P- experience. I can speak from experience here. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm, one mm-hmm. of my favorite YouTube channels is called Evan and Caitlin. Mm-hmm. And it's just a couple and they like do crafty shit and I love them and I highly recommend them. Evan and Caitlin, everybody. And one time I just happened to get like like I was online and they just uploaded a video, so I was mm-hmm. one of the first comments and I was like, Oh, love your videos, really cool to see. And they they hearted it. And I will say, the endorphins I got out of that. Little, little heart flutter. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Evan and Caitlin acknowledged me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, part of me wants to be like, no, I'm just a guy. My comments don't matter. But if I could give somebody what I felt when Evan and Caitlin oh. liked my comment, I'm liking everyone's fucking oh, comment. it's crazy, yeah. Because, like, on my side of things, I'm just like, Oh, I like that comment and I like it. But like on the other yeah, side, like, like cuz I I've had that happen where like someone likes my comment and I'm like <gasps> starstruck. Like there's a Twitter account um Excel dr- or Excel draws. They draw a bunch of like they used to draw a bunch of Pokemon uh comics and now they do more furry stuff. They replied to me once and here I am still talking about it years later, dude. <laughs> I made a joke. They replied like adding on to the joke and i was starstruck man <laughs> that shit was crazy i get starstruck every time i look in the mirror hey yo <laughs> is that self-confidence is that ego what i think that's the self-confidence we all need honestly uh, i need to get better at it everyone if you're listening to this get starstruck when you look in the mirror Give yourself a compliment uh, every time you look in the mirror. Find something you like about yourself. This you is you know what? You know, all this all this points out to me is I need to get back to actually commenting to all the comments every Monday like I used to. So nah. fuck it. After this, I will hop on to the Bark Bark Meow YouTube and hit all the comments up. There's gonna be a lot of replies to go through. It's been a few weeks. I, well done, Solus. You don't gotta do all work. of them, but yeah, no, honestly, God's strongest soldier. <laughs> Going <laughs> through uh, the Bark Bark no, Meow comments. I'm supposed to be the PR guy. <laughs> When yeah. do we hire um, a PR guy? Uh, when we can afford it. Yeah, how's that Patreon? Oh, speaking of, so you can donate to our Patreon today. <laughs> uh, this episode, guy. we're going to have a lot of uh, bonus content because we said some shit that we're not sure we should post on main. So, uh, just link down in the description. www.patreon.com slash bark bark meow. I don't know. That's Is that correct. the actual one? Be correct, everybody. <laughs> I don't know, but there's a link down there if Just you guys do want to help link. us. I was gonna say at this at this current point in time, we're incredibly happy with everybody who supports us, especially those who watch these videos to the end. Yeah. But first, we should do our Patreon read, huh? We should do the Patreon read. We have a notification. Oh, someone commented on the bark bark meow roast, which you could also comment on if you pledge. Can you, can you give me a taste? No. Taste well, the, the comments of the roast. Just a little okay. taste. Should I read one of them? You don't even have to do, like, the whole one. You could just, like, dot, 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 you're a whore. Aw, oh, man. They got you. With, <laughs> dude, they cooked you with this one, Solace. So, this one is for Solace. I'll have oh. a wolf Sona with a black and white color scheme. How oh. original. And heterochromia. Daring today, aren't we? <laughs> There's our taste. Dude, they, oh, fuck. they fucking cooked you on that one. <laughs> Holy I hate shit. it because look, when I when I when I came like when I came out when Solace was created and I went to MFF twenty eight or I guess twenty nineteen, realistically, when I had the head, he obviously was a little bit more like noticeable. I mean, there wasn't a lot of half black hat white suitors running around. It's absolutely exploded in the last five years. 
Yeah. Gary it, it, today, there, has lot, we, there has been a lot of them. We're a family now. Oh, you just I just want to be a part of the family. I closed the Patreon. Hold on. Okay. Community. There we go. Oh, that's funny. Oh my God. Who oh supports us? That wasn't even the yeah. right tab. I need to be on the audience tab. Okay. I hate how you do that so well. What? The voice? That voice. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> do it again. Oh my God. Uh, it's because he's gay. <laughs> Saul, isn't Saul is gay? No. You want to find out at AC? I mean, I'm <laughs> not straight either. Straight into. <laughs> anyway, we're to the end of the episode. Woo! You so made it. You made it. Oh my God. You've got male. Do you guys, you guys remember that? What about the female? No, no, no. It was like <laughs> email. That was funny. <laughs> Thank you to Naz. We're just going to move on. Thank you to Naz. <laughs> Thank you to Zombie Brains. Thank you to P. Thank you to Loriafia. I love it. Thank you to me. Simply Lego. <laughs> I know. Thank you to Landon Yeen. Thank you to Sycamore, Bowie Barks, Heartless Hero, Pip the Badger, Ray's, Fio Firefox, Coraline R, Kai Quint, Carnelian, and Steampony, and Ankara. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love yeah. you guys again. <laughs> Thank you all for the the the, the extra. I was support. so not convincing that like no, we love you guys. Nah, it was one of those no. like like uh, no, we love you guys. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> we love you guys. Coming. Yeah, no, thanks, an avocado. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, we do though. We today. love you. We appreciate you. <laughs> What's the fucking Squidward thing? Oh, he says daring. What is that? What's the actual thing that he's daring saying? today? It's like I'll, I'll have a, I think it's like I'll have a Krabby Patty, and with it's like or something. yeah, with yeah, cheese. Something. It's like with daring cheese. today. Like, oh, we? daring today, aren't we, sir? Like I'll have toast with avocado. Daring today. Daring today, aren't <laughs> we, sir? <laughs> That's just the millennial fucking version, right? I, I know it's bad. When I saw a Squishmallow at Walmart the other day, that was an avocado toast, and I was like, "This oh is uh, this is society." <laughs> this Here we are. Bo Burnham was Bo right. Bo Burnham. <laughs> 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 and on that bombshell, everyone have a good night and keep you your edgy comics off of excuse Twitter. Excuse me. Don't lie to the Bluey fans; they will get you. And whatever joke you about the first thing we talked episodes about at. No. You didn't do the thing. <laughs> I don't care. Well, there's an After Park live stream if you made it to this far. <laughs> okay, Stick okay, around. I'll... You can watch the live stream. I'll do the thing. Yeah. Oh, I can feel my Discord leaving me. Everybody's mouth is not moving. Oh, and I no. Can't look <laughs> on it. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> do it before <laughs> Ruby leaves. If, if, you're, if you're here quick. for the premiere, if you're here for the premiere, hi, how are you? If you're here listening to this later or on Spotify, hello. Hey. Uh, we, we record these every, uh, we premiere the, fuck, we premiere these every Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then afterwards we do an after bark episode that's kind of like an extra extra episode where we just kind of shoot the shit live and you can chat with us in the chat and it's super fun and if you're wanting to listen to these on spotify there goes ruby i didn't do it in time damn uh we premiere these <coughs> we premiere these saturdays oh at 10 a.m which reminds me i still need to post last episodes i'm gonna do that right after this i just straight up forgot uh, yeah, so yeah thanks for tuning in bye guys hi ruby you want to say bye i felt myself dying and i yeah, fucked. you fucking called it <laughs> uh hey misha what was the thing we were ch chanting uh didn't go into the after bark last time oh my god what was it what the fuck was it i think it i think it had to do with sex wasn't it after bark, after dark, after it was yeah, after, yeah, yeah. Bark, after, after, after dark, 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 after dark, after dark, after dark. That was after it, yeah. Bark, All right, see you in the next